Despite their name, book lice aren't really lice at all. They're relatively harmless and they don't feed on humans. As their name actually suggests, these pests will gather where there are books, papers, and molds to be found. Not only that, but they can also infest pantry foods and can even contribute to allergies, causing a huge nuisance to homeowners. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of book lice from your property so your home can remain clean and free from these pests. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about book lice control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Book lice are tiny pests, so they might not be recognizable to some right off the bat. They range in size from 1 32nd to 1 8th of an inch in length, and their body colors range from pale white to gray to brown. Against a lighter material, book lice can appear as simple dark specks. But keep a close eye out. If those specks move, you're definitely dealing with some kind of pest. Book lice are soft-bodied, wingless insects, but they do have six legs and antennae. Their abdomens can be long or oblong-shaped, which may contribute to them being mistaken for other pests like bedbugs or termites. Remember, bedbugs are a much darker brown color, and they bite, and termites tend to be larger and infest wood rather than paper. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Search indoors for sites where book lice infestations are occurring. Check areas that contain paper products and stored food, and also areas high in moisture. Common rooms include the basement, pantry, attic, and garage. Be sure to check along shelves and behind wallpaper. You're looking for mold and live active book lice. If you have many older books, be sure to search within the pages and inside the book binding. In pantries, check inside cereal boxes and other stored products for mold. Take note of any pests or mold you may find, as these will direct your treatment and prevention. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Treating for book lice starts with cleanup. You'll need to address any infested item you've come across. Most things like old newspapers, old shoes, or even foods should be thrown out if you've found them infested with book lice. Foods that have been exposed to high relative humidity should be thrown out as well due to mold development. If you have anything precious or vintage that you do not wish to dispose of, seal it in a plastic bag and store it in the freezer for three days. Afterward, you can vacuum them to get rid of any dead book lice or eggs. Once you've cleaned the infested areas, you'll need to treat any remaining book lice with pyrid aerosol. Pyrid is a powerful, botanical, ready-to-use insecticide that will begin killing labeled pests immediately on contact like book lice. This product is made with pyrethrins, a naturally occurring compound, so treated areas are safe for even children and pets to cross through once the product has dried and dissipated. To use pyrid, simply shake the can, hold the can about 18 to 24 inches away from the target surface, and spray for 1 to 2 seconds per 1 to 2 feet. Also, lightly spray over books where you've noticed book lice activity. You'll also need to treat cracks and crevices with pyrid to ensure you kill all hiding book lice. For crack and crevice treatments, simply affix the injector tip into the actuator, move the open end of the straw into the crack or crevice, and spray, applying at a rate of 3 feet per second. Any labeled pest that makes contact with the spray will have their nervous systems impacted, knocking them down immediately and dying within minutes. Do not allow people or pets near any treated areas for the next 2 to 4 hours. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. The best way to stop book lice activity is to make sure it can't happen. The best way to prevent book lice activity from returning is by addressing any moisture issues around the home. By reducing the humidity, you can prevent mold growth, which book lice need to feed on. You may need to utilize air conditioning or a dehumidifier to reduce the relative humidity down to below 50%. In some cases, when a leak occurs in an attic or basement, book pages and cardboard storage boxes can accelerate mold development if left unchecked. It's recommended to keep books in plastic containers to maintain a dry environment. In pantries, be sure to store loose foods in glass containers or plastic Tupperware. This not only keeps pests out of your food, but it also maintains dryness and slows mold development. 
Book lice are tiny pests that infest paper and food products, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop book lice from infesting your property, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.